The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. My name is Wyland Collins. I am 10 years old and I'm an MTA star. Hi, I'm Ali Gutierrez and I'm 11 years old. Hi, I'm Jared DeBess and I'm 11 years old. Hi, I'm Lauren and I'm 11 years old. And, and we, we are, are MTA stars. Just thinking about tomorrow clears away the cobwebs and the sorrow. My name is Taylor Simmons and I am 20 years old and I am an MTA star. My name is Emma Bochos and I am 11 years old. My name is Joel Fiber and I am 8 years old. My name is Chrissy Gutierrez and I am 11 years old. And, and we, we are, are MTA stars. stars. Come what may. My name is Josh DeBest. I'm 14 years old and I'm an MTA star. Hi, I'm Holly Basaha. I'm assistant director and vocal director here at MTA. And I am an MTA star. My name is Jimmy Hippensteel. I am the artistic director for the Musical Theater Academy of Orange County, and I am an MTA star. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love ya, tomorrow. I'm Elizabeth Torres. I'm 17 years old, and I have been an MTA star for seven years now. I'm Lauren, and I'm 10. I'm Paige, and I'm 12. And, and we're, we're MTA stars. You're only a day away. Yeah. Only. Well, my nose is kind of stuffy. A lot of places you go out to audition for children's theater, and it's by audition only, and they'll only select whoever they feel is is deemed good enough to be on the show. One of the wonderful things about MTA is you can come here and you're accepted no matter what level you're at. So I've worked at a lot of children's theater companies. They're all fantastic and they're all invaluable what they offer anybody to do theater, anybody. Um, it's a great opportunity just to be in theater. What I find at MTA especially is that the kids form a bond that I don't see in other places. There's a social aspect behind the scenes that takes the show to a greater level is what I find, and they commit, and they just all love each other so much. And I love all the people there that are great, and all my new friends and everything. Everyone's so nice there, and it teaches so much about friendships and stuff. And I've learned a lot and been able to make a lot of new friends at MTA. Through MTA, there's just this bond that you don't have anywhere else with other kids. I mean, you know, you have your best friends at school, but it's not the same as being in a show with them and seeing them for so long. And it's just, you have this bond and it's a family. It really is a family. And I mean, I've never felt that anywhere else. Now I've been here 11 years. So I've taught kids from nine to 18 before. I've watched kids go on to college. I've watched kids leave the program and be successful in musical theater. From the start, it was a great experience because everyone was so welcoming and I felt that they could really push me to become a better actor. When I first got there, it was kind of like a little scary. And then like once you get to know the people, it's like really, they're like really supportive and stuff. When I got to MTA, I realized what a family it was there. I felt um, really a part of the group right off the bat. I love theater. I just love singing and dancing since I was little and costumes and bright lights. My talent has just blossomed and I wouldn't even be who I am without MTA because it just started everything and music just means so much to me. A child who walks in and is unsure of really what he or she's doing there and then in a few months watch them walk out on a stage in the confidence of a spotlight and say this is who I am and whatever I'm offering is gonna be great and you're gonna love it. It's thanks to MTA that I'm outgoing and I have um, a better personality. It was the instructors like Deb and Jimmy saying that you can do it, like you're good. You just have to have confidence in yourself and believe that you can accomplish what you want to be. I've been developed into this confident person that I just wasn't before. I was always 
you know, I was shy, I was scared of what other people thought about me, but at MTA, I was just accepted for who I was and for just being a little kooky and being a little out of the box. To play a character on stage who has no worries, that's the best feeling in the world. You can take that and you can apply that other places in your life. So what we do at MTA, we try to teach the kids to reach for the stars. We, I think, um, have been at this long enough to know that children grow up. MTA has got me to think, like, what I want to do. Maybe a scientist, possibly. I really want to go to OSHA when I get older. Oh, oh yeah, definitely. I really do want to be on Broadway someday. And I want to become a dance teacher when I'm older, because I love to dance. <laughs> I didn't realize that there was a place for me until I walked into a theater. So to offer that opportunity to a child who um, has not been in that environment or didn't even know that there was a possibility that he, could, he or she could belong somewhere other than the small world that they grew up in is just the best thing about it. The instructors there, they kind of helped me get out of my comfort zone. Like during Tech Week and during the last few months, I started to become more outgoing and it's, it's even showing now at school and throughout life. I've also learned how to like talk in front of people and do auditions in front of people. Everybody can be who they want to be and not have anybody judge them. To see somebody grow from maybe, you know, a little bit shy and blossoming into a leading lady and it's just the best feeling in the world to know that you helped to make that possible. At MTA, every child, every child, every child, every child deserves a chance to shine. shine. <laughs> I said sign. <laughs> <laughs>